When you are standing in a room looking at a painting, there's nobody mediating your relationship with that thing. You stand in front of it. You see what's in it. Maybe it's a recognizable image that's in it. Maybe it's not. What are you looking at? If there's a face in it, are you looking at the face and once you see the eyes you think, oh, I understand the painting? Or you look at it and you think, well, how is this made? How is this painted and why is it compelling? There's a blend of the image and how the image is constructed that makes you have an emotional response. And then you walk to another painting and maybe the subject matter is different, maybe the size of it's different, maybe the color of it's different, but you're gonna have a different response to that moment made by the same person. And you do that another time. After an accumulative effect of looking at 15 works by the same person, different versions of that same person, you walk out and you had moments, stoppages, and these were objects that gave you this feeling, but when you leave, you have something that is effing sense, that is just the feeling that you had about that. Jean-Claude and I were standing at the Musée d'Orsay. We saw Antonin Artaud's drawings and Van Gogh paintings. And then as we walked through the exhibition, I started to think if we treated the structure as if you were walking through a gallery and looking at paintings, at the end you have an accumulative feeling of the whole show, but each one in a sense is a vignette. And these stories kind of went along with the paintings. I had one impression, he had another one. I didn't know what his impression was until a few months ago when he said he had this feeling about we were going to make this movie. But we had been ruminating about how to do this and refusing to do it because everybody thinks they know everything about Vincent van Gogh and it seems like why beat a dead horse. By thinking about the experience of looking at something and having a catalog or an itinerary of things to look at, then you don't have to think about something in terms of somebody's biography. You don't have to think of what came first. You just saw them all together. So let's take all the things that we're attracted to and put them together, and then let's extrapolate on those things. Let's think about scenes that he might have experienced, but maybe never happened, that could have happened. Why do you paint? I paint. As a matter of fact, to stop thinking. And then let's think about that moment in the world, what was happening. There were inventions in science where people were talking about the field and the observation of the field. So when Gauguin is talking about there's no nature without your eyes, Van Gogh says, I need to look at something and I always see something I've never seen before. So he kind of can do a riff on something he's seen. Gauguin would like to close his eyes to see something beginning of abstract painting. I spent all my life alone in a room. I'd like to find a new light for paintings that we haven't yet seen. So it was an opportunity to talk about everything, but ultimately what does the movie talk about? It talks about the creative process, about making anything. And it's not just Van Gogh that we're addressing, but how difficult it is to just keep to your own inner voice and you think you know what my audience might not arrive for a while but I can't do anything else I can only do it this way and I'm committed to doing that and so I think Willem has a, an opportunity to say a lot of things that uh, I wanted to hear Van Gogh say and that I would like to say about painting. Tell me why do you say you're a painter? Because I love painting I have to paint I've always been a painter that I know a born painter? Yes. How do you know? Because I can't do anything else, and believe me, I've tried. We can't separate the content from the form. Nonverbal narrative is as powerful as words. In fact, words can get in the way sometimes. And I think we went out and got in nature. We filmed what we were experiencing. And we are in a place reacting to everything around us and bringing the script to life in some kind of palpable way where the movie tells us what we have to do, the landscape tells us what we have to do, the situation that 
that Van Gogh is going to mean tells us what we have to do. And those responses are immediate. And uh, there's a, con a controlled situation, but in that controlled situation, we are leaning towards a divine light and we are expecting to get hit by it.